Hi everyone. So today I'll be showing you 10 basic poses that you can do early in the morning, midday, or at night. First one. Tadasana. So it looks easy, but there's a lot of work that goes into it. So standing up straight, go ahead and lift your toes up to help you lift your kneecaps. Engaging the entire leg, engaging the thighs. You feel the lifting your kneecaps, engaging your legs, squeezing up your butt. And begin to lengthen the spine. Lift the shoulders up and back here so that you can bring your chest forward so you're not slouching and moving forward. Bring your chin to be parallel to the ground, not looking too high up or too low down. Now I want you to lengthen the arms down to the ground and engage those fingers so we don't want sleepy fingers, we want strong engaged fingers. Imagine trying to sink the fingers into the ground. With your entire body engaged, you start to notice that the tadasan or the mountain goes is really strong for us. You can even go ahead and place your palms in front of your chest here. Spreading the shoulders away from your chest. Now on to the second one. So many of us know this as you downward facing dog. So let's begin by lengthening the spine. As you bend down the knees, pressing the palms into your back. And stepping back your feet into a downward facing dog. If you're feeling tight in the hamstrings, go ahead and bend the knee. It's not always about pressing the heels into the mat, but as long as you feel the stretch in the back of your legs, back of your ankles, shins, knees, and thighs. Keeping your body in a straight line in an upside down V shape. You don't want to drop your head on your back. You want to keep your head between your arms, ears beside your arms, pull the shoulders away from the ears, broadening the chest. Press the palms firmly into the mat, spreading all ten fingers so the weight is distributed evenly. So really it's just come down on your knees and exit the pose. Now coming to our third pose. the plank pose. So let's begin with Tadasan. Press the palms down to the mat as we step both legs back into plank. Engage your core, you don't want your hips too high up or sinking too low. And as you know, you are a plank. In a straight line, your body is parallel. Arms are stacked. On top of each other, the shoulders to wrists in a line and you don't want to hyperextend as well as in a rotate the arms to cover the wrist and the elbows pull the shoulders away from your from the ears sucking in the belly here engaging the core engage the legs strong legs here to release bend the knees and sit back on your heels and that was your plank pose you really feel it in the core you don't want to feel any tension or pains in the lower back. Now, coming to the fourth pose, the triangle pose. So begin by standing three to four feet apart, and your heel is pointing directly to the arch of the back foot. So on the inhale, lengthen the spine, bring the arms up beside the ears. You want to keep the hips in line with your feet. You're not pushing your hips back or coming too forward. Depending on how you're feeling today. You want to keep the knees softly bent as you lengthen your spine. As you exhale, let the arm drop and the shin, the ankles, the back of the thigh. Depending on where it feels good for you. 
and the opposite arm, face up, and fingers to point to the ceiling. Keep the hips in line, engage the core. You can have the option to look down and look up in your arms, depending how your neck is feeling. Keep both the fingers engaged. So come up, place your arms, your palms on your hips, and then we're going to feel in. Uh, coming to the next one, the fifth one is our tree pose. So go ahead and bring one leg up. Engage the standing foot. Soft bend in the knee. You can put your palms on your hips for stability. And bring the heel up. Get at the ankle, on the shins, then bring it up on, on the knee. If you feel stable and your hips are open enough, go ahead and bring it all the way up. Engage the core, lengthen body. Option one, thumbs up. You can option to place your foot where it feels good for you and stable, and you can hold the pose for a long time. And continue with the arms, or your palms, or just place them on the hips. Relax the shoulders. Pull the shoulders away from you. Lengthen your spine, engage your core. Opening the hips inside. Stay for a couple of hours in the option of your arms and foot placing. Try not to wobble the front up. Feel grounded like a tree. And just release and shake off any tension before switching to the other side. Alright, coming into our warrior one and warrior two pose, and we're doing it together as a movement. So go ahead and begin in Tadasana, bend the knees, place the palms down, step the right leg back, keep the arch of the foot, and the heel of the front foot in line, bending the knee, bring yourself up, so warrior one, shoulders are facing forward, front leg is going to line two degrees. Arms beside you. Now we'll go into a warrior two from here, opening up. So the hip flexors. Go ahead and engage your fingertips here. Lengthen the fingers. Keep them active. Now adjust the leg to sink further into the pose. Press the back heel firmly into the mat. From here, from here to the mat. You have the option to go into a humble warrior here by bringing your arms close behind your back. Just stay in the So exit, come back to one one and step forward. That's a nice one you can go between one one and one two. So next is a forward fold that we're going to come into. So just sit comfortably in the mat. Feel if any flesh from the side of your back to feel the hip bones, the sit bones pressing firmly into the ground. We're going to adjust yourself here. You want to fall from the hip region, not just bringing the chest down and curling the back. So from the side view, keep the legs long and engaged, toes pointing up to the ceiling. Lengthen the spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, fall from the hip. Place your palms wherever it feels comfortable for you. So if you can reach the toes, go ahead and reach and bend into the toes, chest forward. Just place the palms where it feels comfortable. Go ahead and keep the knees bent if you're getting tight in the back of the legs. Pick your option too. When you're done, just release and shake off any tension in the legs. Next, we'll be coming to a bridge pose, so it's a really good heart, heart opening and a mini back bend. In this pose, you should not feel any pains in your lower back, so remember to press the lower back. Firmly into the ground, you don't want to create a hollow or arch back. You're pressing and engaging and sucking in the core, you protect your lower back. Press the feet firmly into the mat to help you sink the lower back into the mat. You want to lift from the hips. 
and the heels close to your palms. You can touch your ankles with your foot. As you inhale, push the hips up to the ceiling as you exhale, release. So work is really in the hip area. You should not feel any pain or tension to your lower back. Make sure you're pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Look up to the ceiling. Don't turn your head left and right. And cause strain in the neck. When you're done, go ahead and hug your knees, your chest. Give yourself a counter pose here and you can roll side to side and front to back. Now coming to our 10 and last pose for today. We're going to begin in Tadasana and walk back into Downward Dog. So in Downward Dog, we bend the knees and come to each other's palms. We put our on at all fours. Let's push the hips back or if you're lying on our back. Let's go ahead and roll to one side as you bring yourself in child's pose. So there's many ways to get yourself into the child's pose. So how you get there is to open your hips slightly apart, knees apart so you can bring your body in between, toes are touching, and make sure your hips and toes are stuck together and they don't lift apart. If you're feeling tight and they might lift apart, try as much as you can to sink and press the hips into the heels. All you want to do is fold from the hip, walk your palms forward. And you can bring the forehead down to the mat. You can have the palms pressing down into the mat or facing up to the ceiling. But just remember to keep the heels to the butt. And breathe here. So this is a really good relaxation pose. It helps anxiety, helps with these stress. So that's it, the 10 basic poses. See you guys next time.